U.S. officials confirmed to NBC News on Thursday that intelligence provided to Ukraine from the U.S. actually played a role in sinking a Russian warship. Moskva, the flagship of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, sank on April 14th after being struck by two Ukrainian Neptune anti-ship missiles. Russia at that time claimed the vessel sank following an accidental fire on board. Moskva was the largest Russian warship to have sunk in combat since World War II, and its loss represents a significant blow to Moscow. The officials who spoke to NBC on condition of anonymity said Ukrainian forces had asked for information about a large ship seen in the Black Sea south of Odessa. The U.S. identified the vessel as the Moskva and confirmed its location, after which the Ukrainians attacked the ship, according to the report. The officials denied that the U.S. had any knowledge that Ukraine would target the warship and said the information was provided to help Ukraine defend itself from a potential attack. The New York Times on Wednesday also published a story suggesting that American intel played a significant role in the deaths of 12 Russian generals killed in action by Ukrainian forces. However, Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby downplayed the role that U.S. intelligence has had in the war at a Thursday briefing. First, the United States provides battlefield intelligence to help Ukrainians defend their country. We've talked about that quite a bit. We do not provide intelligence on the location of senior military leaders on the battlefield or participate in the targeting decisions of the Ukrainian military. The Ukrainians have, quite frankly, a lot more information than we do. This is their country, their territory, and they have capable intelligence collection abilities of their own. Ukraine combines information that we and other partners provide with the intelligence that they themselves are gathering on the battlefield. And then they make their own decisions and they take their own actions. And I think it's important not to forget that this is a war the Russians started and of course they can end it tomorrow. Go to fism.tv/news for more.